It is August 2nd, 2019. It's been uh, 29 years, one month and one week since I masturbated and had an affair. We're looking at various slogans uh, that will guide us. And we're looking at one of my very favorites called Let Go and Let God. This doesn't come from AA, which is the source of 12-step. Um, this comes from Al-Anon. And it's a beautiful and gentle and kind and tender uh, slogan because most addicts have two responses to life. Like if you're addicted to PMO or alcohol or drugs or food or whatever it may be, your response is either you feel depressed because you're trying to control the world in this addiction and you're failing and you beat yourself up with shame and blame and you're self-abusive to yourself and then you feel depressed because you think that, you know, uh, you can't control anything and your, your life is out of control because it is out of control. But the other response is that the most addicts have is anxiousness because they believe that they can do something about this and, and, and they're trying the best they can to stop, you know, using porn or drinking or smoking cigarettes or coffee or whatever it may be, being fat. And, 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 and they, they, they just, it takes so much ah, like that. And then life is not enjoyable. You can't enjoy your life at all. And so this tremendous, it's, it's a really it's a wonderful day in a person's life. Like the first time I went to 12-step was in June 1980, and I saw God on the wall. I said, I'm not believing that. I'm not believing a lie. And so I stayed drunk for another year, and I came back on the 27th of uh, uh, 1981, and I said, you know, I'll, I'll sing in the choir if you guys will let me in and let me in this door and it was a tremendous relief to not try to run my life to not what we say is i'm not management material we turn our will and our lives over to the care of god that we understand it's important it's not a muslim or a christian or a jewish or a hindu or a buddhist god you get to choose your own conception that's extremely important but whatever that conception is, you choose, you surrender your life and will over to it. Some people just surrender it over to a 12-step group. Some people surrender to a sponsor. Some people surrender it like Gandhi did, to service. You know, I find the, uh, the God, I've surrendered my life to the God of service because that's what he believed in, and that's what Bill Wilson believed in. That's something that I've done for 31 years. I surrendered my life to service. And what you do is you let go of all your pain your problems all your little plans and designs and all your anxieties you surrender that to a power greater than yourself and then you let go and let god and you know what the cool part about that is that you don't have to worry anymore you're not the director of the show anymore you're an actor in it and you can relax and enjoy your life relax and give yourself some peace you can absolutely insist upon enjoying life. Why shouldn't we laugh? We have recovered. Uh, you know, are we going to be glum, boring, stupid? Or are we going to be happy, joyous, and free? And that that slogan, that, that release of that terrible burden of trying to figure things out and solve things that you can't solve, you can't stop the unmanageability, you can't stop the powerlessness. Such a tremendous relief. It's like being a a child again, but in a happy home, you know, where, where parents are, are taking responsibility for you because you're a kid. It's like that kind of feeling. If, like some of you have had really dysfunctional homes and have no idea what I'm talking about, but some of you have had pretty decent parents and you understand. Remember when you were little and they were just kind of taking care of you. That's exactly what it's like, but you have to be willing to let go and let God, and that's a tremendous freedom. All the anxiety just disappeared. You know that Sigmund Freud, once he realized he had cancer, spent the last year and a half of his life just studying anxiety. That's all he did. It's that important. But that slogan will relieve you of anxiety right there. Let go and let God try. Just see what happens. If it doesn't work, you don't have to do it. But if it does, it'll bring you peace and the anxiety goes away.